All right, hello everybody. It's Math Martin uh, with Math with Maurice. And so we're gonna go through for my geometry students or anybody who's trying to learn some geometry stuff about point, line, and plane. So those are the three undefined terms in geometry because it's basically like when you use them for the foundations of all your other definitions. And it's the whole like you can't define something well, while using the word in the definition. So these guys are the ones that like set the definitions for everything else. Um, so for a point, a point is a location. Okay, so it has no size or shape. All right, even though we're used to drawing it as like little circular dots, okay, it doesn't really actually have a size or shape. Um, it's just a like location in space, okay? Uh, we always denote it with a capital letter. So in this one, we have a capital letter A. So for example, how you refer to this one, you call it point A. So if you wanted to write that, you would say, this is point A, or whatever capital letter ends up being by it, okay? So then once you have points, you can work on lines. All right, so a line is actually made up of points. It's an infinite amount of points that are all like connected and they just keep going forever in two directions, okay? So instead of drawing like tons of little dots, infinitely going, we just connect them all to make a line, okay? And when you're trying to talk about points on the line, you usually only show like two, maybe three at a time. All right, you only need two points to form a line. So any two points can connect and make a line. Um, it has no thickness. or width. Now again, that seems kind of counterintuitive because of how we draw them to like visualize them in math, but it actually doesn't have a thickness. All right, um, and you name a line by any two points on the line or a lowercase script letter. So for example, over here, we have the points X and Y, and we also have this little N over here on the side. So you could call this line N Okay, so if you ever see like the little script letter, that's the name of the line that it's beside. Or you can use the actual points that they gave you for the line. So you could call it line X, Y, or you could say line Y, X. It doesn't actually matter which order you do that. Okay, or if you don't wanna actually write the word line, you can use a symbol and you can say X, Y, and then draw a little line with arrows above it. Or you can go the other way, y, x, and do it this way. The key thing is you need to have the arrows to show that it's a line, because lines keep going in both directions forever. All right, so let's talk about some of these extra definitions here. So this is pronounced collinear. So collinear points are points that lie on the same line. So for example, x and y are both on this line. So they are collinear points. So X and Y would be collinear. Non-collinear points are points that do not lie on the same line, okay? You have to have at least three points for this to happen because obviously two points can connect to make a line. So let's say that you just had this random point down here called Z. So you can't connect them, all three of them together to make a straight line. You end up having to make a triangle or an angle or some other kind of shape. Okay, so these three together would be non-collinear. Now X and Y are collinear, but as soon as you throw in Z, you get non-collinear. So X, Y, and Z together. All right? So now that you got points and you have lines, let's talk about planes. So a plane is a flat surface Right, and it's made up of points. Again, just like a line, it's made up of like tons and tons and tons of points, but we would all go crazy if we tried to like draw every single little dot and every point that would make up this, okay? Um, you need at least three points in order to make a plane, all right, because two points just make a line, all right? And key thing, a plane extends indefinitely in all directions. Okay, so obviously we couldn't draw infinity all right, so we do have to like stop our drawing somewhere. So that's why when you see planes in geometry, it kind of looks like we're just drawing like a sheet of paper. 
Um, but just imagine that this could actually keep stretching out and becoming a bigger piece of paper. Okay, it just keeps going. So it's like having a sheet of paper that just keeps going nonstop. All right, and you name a plane by any three non-collinear points on the plane. So you can name it using any three of the points that you see. Or there's an uppercase script letter. So see this fancy looking P over here? So we could call this plane P by its script letter. Or you can call it plane K, J, L. Or if you want to do a different order, you could say plain L, K, J. It really doesn't matter if it's alphabetical, as long as you've got three points that are on the plane. All right, so coplanar points, that's how you pronounce this, coplanar is points that lie on the same plane. So for example, J, L, and K are all on this plane together. So we have K, J, and L are coplanar. Non-coplanar points are points that do not lie on the same plane, okay? So you need at least to have four points. So for example, these three points are on this sheet of paper right here, or this plane, okay? Now if I had another plane below it, so let's imagine if I could stick my pencil going through them, like underneath of it, and this one's floating above this one, all right? And then you had a point down here, we'll call it A. This point is non-coplanar with these points. They're not on the same plane, okay? So it helps when you have something like, but think of this like the table and this is the floor. So if you have plates sitting up here on the table and you had one plate on the floor, they're not on the same plane. All right, then let's talk about what it means when they intersect. So when two lines intersect, they intersect at a point. And in this example, they're intersecting at point P. When two planes intersect, so we have this plane, plane L, is like vertically going up and down, and then plane M, horizontal, going left and right, when they cross each other, they intersect at a line. So line K right here is like what the, if picture like two pieces of paper slicing through each other, there's a line or an edge created when they do that. Okay, so that's like the intro to the undefined terms, point, line, and plane.